Welcome viewers new and old. This channel has finally reached the 10,000 subscriber mark and with this degree of exposure I would like to share with you some of the channels that I am subscribed to which are horribly undersubscribed in my opinion. These are users who produce excellent content but do not get enough exposure themselves. So without further ado, Skeptic Talk is a thought-provoking young man who gives consistently calm delivery and thought-provoking videos. His demeanor is comparable to mine, if I had a face. Anyway, here's a clip. Some uh, communities have, it, have situations where it's not uncommon for people to say, God told me to do this, or I felt the Holy Spirit leading me to do this or that, which sounds weird to outsiders, but it's fairly common in Pentecostal culture. My question is, uh, what do you think's going on here? Uh, obviously, we're religious skeptics, and we don't believe that these people are actually communicating with God, but what is happening? Uh, Matt Dillahanty, who was one of the hosts of The Atheist Experience, asked the same question, uh, you know, when the Pope goes up into his special office to, to commune with God, what do you think's going on? Is he just, like, you know, eating a sandwich up there? Does he really think that he's actually talking with God? Is he just admiring his spiffy hat? Uh, what do you think? What do you think about that? My Grammar Rules has a high potential channel on which she posts videos that promote common sense and proper grammar. I'm sold. If you have ever wondered why atheists make such a big deal about God, and you really truly want to understand why atheists spend so much time talking about a God they don't believe in. There is something very simple you can do to enlighten yourself. Just for a moment, consider this. Everywhere you would put God, instead, put any one of the thousands of other gods you don't believe in in his place. Are you scared yet? The Lizard Lass's only fault as a YouTuber is not posting videos often enough. She's easy on the eyes, intellectually stimulating, and made the best Have You Seen This Man video of all time. That video, which I'll show a clip of here, used tangible examples to convey the message of how foolish it is for Muslims to be offended by depictions of their prophet, rather than just overtly offending them and hoping it has the same effect. Take notes, Thunderfoot! It's a little stick man named Muhammad. Now, some people would find this offensive. But, if I take away this extra piece of card, you'll see that this little Muhammad is just a little boy who was born in 2003. His parents happened to name him Muhammad. He's not the Islamic prophet, so, you know, everybody who got offended by this picture before I took that little piece of card away should, um, should probably get over that. Billy Bob Neck is the single most hilarious Poe on the face of the planet. Observe! Well, all right, this is Billy Bob Neck. This is Sunday, the day the Lord is made. And if it's Sunday, it means that we're going to praise his name by going through some of the people who hate Jesus. Uh, I hope you're not one of them. Uh, I hope that you got to church today uh, instead of staying in bed, uh, having butt sex, reading the New York Times, maybe going down to... Starbucks and getting some kind of frothy homo drink. The 4th of July, it's the birth of our country. It is the day that God came down and said, I will bless America. I'm gonna do all that I can to help America. And and for the longest time he did. And then, then, then liberal defeatocrat democrats started kicking god out of school in around 1956 it's been it's been all downhill since then shaky surgeon is a true up-and-comer here on youtube who's gone out of his way to make unique and enjoyable content and ladies he has an accent okay i'm sorry but i'm still not getting this can you run me through it one more time why am i allowing myself to be crucified well son you're dying for humanity's sins what does that even mean well, you know Original Sin, when Eve ate fruit from the Tree of Knowledge? That's right, son. Anyway, that Original Sin was passed down generation to generation, which means everybody's a sinner. But how can you blame a child for the sins of their parents? 
I'm not blaming them, my son, for you see, that's why I'm sacrificing you. Oh, I see. Wait, what? Autumn Lauber is a teenage YouTuber who is fighting good fight as a rational skeptic who is far more mature and intellectual than I was at her age. She's posted videos promoting her writing, skepticism, and education. In a religion, you're told not to ask questions, to be obedient. Not only this, but religion has a warm, fuzzy feeling to it. You get an emotional attachment, and you're supposed to feel a certain way, at least according to some people. In science, it's not about happy or sad or any outcome that you want in particular. It's about having the truth come out. Mr. Filthy Rags is a criminally undersubscribed user who does excellent work of remixing speeches and rants, putting them to beats, and supporting them with relevant visuals. Here's an example of one of my videos that he transformed into a version far superior to my original. Theists, I respect and understand your rights to believe in an all-loving deity who is responsible for creating and governing the universe. I don't share that belief myself, but as a former believer, I do understand why you would take that position. Even now, as an atheist, I can still put myself into a hypothetical situation in which I imagine what a universe governed by an almighty, all-loving God might be like. What I'd like for you to do is take a moment to honestly put yourself into my position and imagine what a world would be like if your God didn't exist. The user called I Don't Know You is a very bright young woman and friend of mine who I entered into a competition with two other high quality, high potential YouTube friends of mine who had zero videos on their current channels. My award to her as the winner of that competition, which was to post the video first, is to feature her here. So if you're intrigued by this user, check out her channel and harass her for not making videos more often. I met these two guys one night, they, one was from Japan and one was from Singapore. Um, and we got to talking, and um, they asked me what I'm studying in school. And I said, well, when I am in school, I study biology. And they were blown away. They said, are you any good at it? And I said, yeah, I, you know, I really love biology. And they were just shocked. They were like, well, that's weird because, you know, Americans aren't good at math and science. And, of course, that cracked me up. I'd like to thank all of my viewers for your support, comments, criticisms, and discussion. I'd also like any of you who aren't aware of my ongoing What's Tough About Your Job project to check that out and make a video contribution. I love watching entries to that project, and the more diverse the contributions, the more educated its audience can become. The link is at the bottom of the description box, where you'll also find the channels of all these great users. Also, pay a visit to the website, Untamed Mind. It's run by the YouTuber Corey Denver, and it's kind of like the concept that free speech vids was supposed to be but never became. Uh, I upload most of my videos there as a backup site. Go check it out.